are, everyone. Just a week away from the Republican convention, and Donald Trump is about to announce his running mate any day this week. Some are thinking it may be retired Lieutenant General Michael Flynn, a registered Democrat. But his pro-choice statement, Mr. Flynn's, General Flynn's, is giving some conservatives a little bit of pause. Take a listen to him here. Women have to be able to choose uh, what they, uh, you know, the, sort of the, the right of choice. But I think that that's a, that's a difficult legal decision. That, uh, and I think that women are so important uh, in that in that decision-making process. What people, what people do in their private lives, I, I'm not. Th th these are not big issues that our country is dealing with that, are, that, that will cause our country to collapse. All right, joining me right now is Fox News contributor Leslie Marshall and former Bush advisor Brad Blakeman. Good to see both you guys. Thanks. Uh, Brad, uh, you know, some are thinking that this may disqualify him from getting tapped as VP. Your thoughts? Yeah, I think that a lot of Republicans will go AWOL if the general is on the ticket with Donald Trump because Donald Trump is now is pro-life. Mm -hmm. and, and, uh, and his running mate, if it were to be the general, is completely at odds with that. That's just one of the things. The other thing is, I think a general is more apt to be the Secretary of Defense, National Security Advisor. Donald Trump needs help legislating. Okay, so and, you don't think it's going to happen And that can only come here. from an executive. That, that, that this would play into too many people's fears. In other words, a lot of people say Donald Trump isn't a real conservative, he's not really a Republican, just look at where he stands on the abortion issue, um, and, and this would basically validate those claims in your view, Brad? Oh, there's no doubt about it. Uh, the, the running mate is a reflection of the candidate, number one, and number two, it's not complimentary at all to Donald Trump. And yet, and yet, Leslie, you know, one of the things that we've talked about is so remarkable in this whole election cycle is that Donald Trump has the ability to cross over and to appeal to, to some that maybe previously had been Democrats. So what better way to do that than have someone like General Flynn on the ticket? Well, here's the problem. Although it compliments him with regard to the military, and I understand that because he's definitely lacking uh, in the polls with regard to foreign policy against Hillary, he needs Bernie Sanders voters. But this guy, a military, a pro-war hawk, is not going to get them. He needs the independents, the moderates, the undecideds. But he also, Trish, needs the Republicans that don't like him and don't like Hillary uh, to stick around. And this doesn't prove that he has the, uni the unity of this party or mm -hmm. that he has the Republicans. Republicans backs. Um, and yet, you know, ISIS is such a big issue. General Flynn was one of the first to really name radical jihadism for what it is. In fact, uh, he says he lost his job there as a result of being so outspoken about the threat that we face, Brad. Uh, nonetheless, you see that really as someone uh, who would be a better fit at the cabinet level. No, no question about okay. it, because that's his job 24-7, is to keep America safe. A vice president has to juggle a lot of balls and, and uh, not necessarily in the expertise or the wheelhouse okay. of the general. So, so I think Pence, the general should stick to what he's Pence? good at. Yeah, I think Mike Pence would be a great, great choice. Uh, first of all, he has legislative experience being in the House, but more importantly, his executive experience being a governor in an important state. I think Governor Pence is just what the doctor ordered for Donald Trump. Okay, we got lots more politics to discuss. So, Leslie Brown, I'm going to see you in a little bit. Thank you, guys.